I've got a pimple on my nose. Oh, oh, it is sore. Hello, fellow YouTubers. It's um Monday, November twenty-six, and uh, it's been a very, very warm day. Quite a nice day. Um, a sort of atypical spring day. Now that we're well, no more than atypical because we're getting very close to the to summer. There's only four days to go to summer. Oh boy, am I looking forward to that. Not. Yes. And uh, today I, I, I had my uh, appointment at the, at the hospital. They've had my gassed off for me. Ah. Glug, glug. It was a bit like that. I arrived there at the hospital, had to go up two flights of stairs and uh, to the day surgery unit and um, I'm just a little bit sweaty and uh, you just sit there and wait and uh, eventually they call you to the uh, to the counter and give you all the details, make sure everything's fine, Shh. make sure that you are who you say you are and uh, then you sit down and wait and I I'm just trying to think. When I went in, it was, uh, I think I've been waiting about 40 minutes, so it wasn't too bad, really. And uh, you had to go into the change room and put on a gown. And, well, actually, two gowns one that goes, it's open at the back, and another bluish sort of one with tight cuffs on the, uh, on the sleeves. But you've got to take everything off. I, I didn't have to take off my socks or underwear. I was okay because I wasn't having a colonoscopy, I was just having a gastrocomy. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you go and see the nurse. You go into the nurse's office there and she just checks that you are who you say you are and that you are sound of mind. You know, uh, your date of birth. Uh? Uh? What? <laughs> yes, her name was Crystal. She was a lovely young woman. Uh, in both respects, you know, in demeanour and in appearance, very nice. And uh, as I was sitting in the chair near her desk, um, I just happened to look up because the whole place is air conditioned, and it's got these big square um, uh, filters. And um, they were filthy. I said, "Ah, have you ever looked up there at your filters?" And she said, "No, I've never looked up." And when she she went, "Ooh, ooh," I said, "Yeah, well, that's they need cleaning," and it was the same way after the hospital. Yeah, I'll probably never be cleaned. Anyhow, that's just a little bit of trivia, isn't it? And um, then I was uh, taken around and put, in, put on a bed and uh, they get a, a warm blanket out of a little oven sort of thing that these warm blankets are in. It was very, very warm putting it on, but uh, it didn't take long before it was very comfortable. It was quite cold in the hospital. And then you have a plethora of people come over to see you. A plethora of people. That's a lot of people. The anesthesiologist and someone someone else who was working with her and then some other person and and uh, then another nurse and uh, and then you had the doctor himself come over and he, he was a nice sort of bloke. And uh, anyhow, it, it wasn't long. Um, I, think I, I think I went in about uh, 8.15 into the surgery and uh, after having the spray down the ah back of the neck oh, I've still got these things on hmm. um, where they had the catheter thing in there yeah. and um, I'll, I'll leave it on until I get into the shower tonight because I make it easier to pull it off my name with a big bruise same with this bit of stuff here if I rip that off it'll be a big bruise all over it don't like it but probably a lot of you out there are familiar with that sort of thing so yeah, so I went in there, they gave me a little, um, the, the, like I said, the spray in the back of the throat several times and uh, they do a rehearsal by pushing the nozzle of the, the spray down your throat and the, um, a couple of times you gag, but then a bit more spray and that was that and uh, they're supposed to put a, some sort of mild sedative in the, uh, in the drip, but I didn't notice anything like that. I just lay there on my, uh, on my left side and they put the thing in your mouth, the oop. And uh, it wasn't long before you you felt the, um, the the tube camera tube going into your throat. Black, <coughs> cough, cough. A couple of times, but um, once you swallow uh, and keep swallowing, it's fine. 
only took a couple of minutes. Um, I, I was glad to get the thing out of my throat, but uh, yeah, it was fine. Then you wheeled into a recovery room, and then you got a couple of nurses around there, and they're taking care of you and checking your pulse and blood pressure. And all. my blood pressure's high. I must have a word with my doctor. It's been high for a little while. Anyhow, so um, I think I got out about uh, ten o'clock. All right, you've got to wait for a little while. Um, until the um, the head nurse says it's okay to go and wait in the waiting area to go home um, and you sit there and you wait a bit longer and they take out the cannula and um, but you've got to wait for about half an hour um, so they can see you have a drink and that you don't drown while you're having a drink yeah because evidently with the, the back of the throat numb it's, it's, it's possible to um, put fluid on your lungs and <coughs> I'm drowning <laughs> But I was all fine. It was all good, and uh, gave my wife a call, and uh, the um, neighbour from across the street came and picked me up. And uh, throat still sore, uh, throat still a bit sore, but uh, like I said, it's all good. The only problem is now I had to make an appointment. Now being so close to Christmas, I think I was fortunate that I got in um, when I did. But it's um, for the twelfth of next month, and that's sixteen days away. I got an appointment with my doctor too um, on the 11th, so I got one with him on the 11th and one with the specialist on the 12th. But I would hope that the doctor, the specialist, the gastroenterologist, would, um, if there's anything wrong, let my doctor know because I'll be seeing him before that. But I got still got to wait for 15 days. You know, that's no consideration, is there? If there's something wrong, you think they would let you know straight away. But these doctors are so busy, these specialists, they're so busy. Uh, making a fortune, they don't give a hoot nor a holler about the people, the patients, do they really? No, not really. They might give the illusion that they care, but they don't really care. All they care about is the, yeah, the moolah. Because I've got to go and see uh, him, and it's going to cost me $100 less uh, Medicare rebate, but uh, he's got to have his money, and then i guess got to go to a GP and he's got to have his money. It's all about money, isn't it? That's the bottom line. I sound a bit there like, get smart, don't I? Yeah, I missed it by that much. <laughs> that much. <laughs> yes, yeah, so anyhow, like I said, it, uh, it's all fine and I just got to wait. I'm waiting, waiting to see how things go. Right. Well, uh, at, right at this moment, it's um, 5.17 in the PM. Yes, I did get up early. I, I thought I was going to go at 5 then. I didn't get up until 6. But that was okay. I was just in time to say goodbye to my wife's... Uh, brother and uh, his wife and then they toddled off back to Newcastle which is about uh, 400 k south of us but it's, it's quite a good ride for them quite a good drive because there's a, a lot of a lot of the highways been um, and towns have been detoured now so it won't be long before um, it'll be like an expressway all the way from Sydney to the Queensland border although probably the only place that won't be detoured is up our hometown here across Arthur been promising for 20 years now they say it's going to be started in another two years but I, 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 I wouldn't uh, bet my life on that anyhow that's more trivia isn't it doesn't matter I haven't forgot about um, uh, you Lisa and the wandering star I haven't I thought I got it right last night actually but when I played it back it was horrible and I thought I, I'm not gonna upload that that's terrible I can do much better than that so I'm gonna uh, I, I will get it done eventually I will Oh, anyhow. Well, that's about it, I think. Um, yeah, that, that's it. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, listening to my uh, my carryings on. Carry-ons? Yes, carry-ons. I was born under a wandering star. Mud can make you prisoner and the plains can make you dry. Snow can burn your eyes, but only people make you cry. Home is made for coming from, for dreams of going to. Which with any luck will never come true. Oh, I, I bet it. And until next time. Uh, uh, bye for now. Oh, that's sore. Gee, that's all. Oh, you can see it there, can't you? Look at that. I don't know how that happened. I've got no idea. 
I haven't been doing any angle, any metal work. That's barely barking. The those with good hearing would hear me barking. Uh, yeah, I mean that is terrible, isn't it? Look at it. I, I'd like to put some drawing ointment on it, but I don't know how I could do that. You're supposed to cover it. I'd have one nostril blocked. Uh, anyhow, more trivia. Yeah. And you probably go, oh, poor man. Mm. Yes. Uh, I said bye for now, didn't I? I'll, I'll say it again to you all. Bye for now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. It's certainly not for everyone to go and have a, a, a camera shoved down your throat while you're wide awake. It's not. It's not for the faint-hearted. It's not, but it was okay. For me, it was okay. And with those words, I'll say. Uh, but, but, I've already said bye for now, haven't I? Uh, bye for now.